Hi, good evening. Very good evening. Hi Shobha, welcome, good evening. Hi Samyukta. Hi Sharada ma'am. Gauri. Uh, Samyukta, did you check your WhatsApp message? I have requested something. Please do share it immediately so that I can share it with the others also. <coughs> your cherry uh, fridge magnet. I'm just waiting for your Okay, now we will start the session and welcome to Jayashri Narayan Creations. Today it's going to be something very very interesting. I'm sure all of you would love to do one such piece for yourself. And uh, before we start, let me <coughs> share you the materials. I have already put up in the community. Uh, but those who have not seen, this is the... Hi Padma, good evening. Okay, now the main piece for the cushion cover is the fabric. Okay, this fabric could be either a ready made cushion you can use, or in case if you are going to buy the material, get it done, and then finally stitch it, then uh, try to get the casement fabric white color preferably and then it's a little thicker variety okay and apart from that we need the it's moved to one side right Okay, Samyukta, I'll just check it up. Okay. Apart from the fabric, we also need the canvas cloth, the, sorry, the canvas sheet. Okay. If you have small bits also, it's okay. So, one canvas sheet you need. And then the colors, of course. Since we are going to do it on the canvas, I uh, prefer you to use the acrylic colors depending upon the motif you take uh, you can choose the colors also then few pastel shades pearl colors hi money maker like good evening then we need pearl metallic gold also 
then when we talk about the paints automatically goes goes without saying that we need the brushes also flat and the round brushes okay or whatever uh, you have you can use those brushes and then for sticking purpose it is the fabric glue here i don't want any fevicol because it is soluble in water use only fa fevicol fabric glue and then for outlining it is black 3d cone outliner black apart from that you need little bit of recon fiber for stuffing this is stuffing cotton this also you need then scissors of course we do need okay these are the materials which we need for today's session now you can decide the size of the cushion here i have taken 11 cm 11 inches by 11 inches which is the size of the cushion hi rani good evening good evening i am fine okay so using an yellow carbon since the the cushion um, the ma major part of the cushion will be done with the madhubani borders so i have uh, composed few patterns also on a paper of paper and then transfer this in in case if you want to trace it you can do it otherwise you can just mark the lines or the squares or the divisions whatever uh, how much, uh, however you want to do accordingly you can make the marking and then fit in the patterns in each uh, this box okay so here i have uh, done the uh, design and i have traced of course the cushion uh, the work is completed so i am going to show you show it to you on a piece of fabric so taken white ca casement cloth trace the design or you can draw the design you can directly compose it on the um, fabric itself using a pencil in case if you are going to trace it you better use a black carbon because this is going to you know, the outline is going to be only with uh, black so you can always use the black carbon now and then we need one more design apart from this that is the fish the fish a typical uh, motif of madhubani so you can choose a fish there are n number of uh, fish you find in the net for madhubani so according to your choice or you can create your own and um, just draw it on a piece of fab, uh, paper now we will start with the cushion cover first once the design is drawn just try to do the entire outline with the 3d fevicryl cone black okay here i am not going to use the color either the color or the brush this just directly the cone i am going to use 3d cone if you want thicker lines the especially the border lines as i always say recommend you can cut open the nozzle make it a little bigger dia and then start uh, doing it on the fabric here i am not i don't want that so i'm just directly using the uh, 3d outline uh not this border as such there are uh, many uh, patterns are there you can just uh, pick and choose okay and let me congratulate two people who have done the uh, done and shared the earlier creations to me one is uh, it always goes without saying both of them in, in fact actually uh, shobha prem kumar and uh, samyukta from ero okay they have shared the article this is uh, samyukta's cherryel face painting um, fridge magnet though it was an uh, very old uh, earlier episodes she had shared it uh, in the last uh, i think it was during the last session she shared it and then uh, uh, maybe after the session or maybe during the session i don't know so i did not uh, show it to all today i thought i could share it to you during the uh, live so this is uh, samyukta of ero okay beautifully done thank you samyukta for your prompt uh, response it has come out very well thank you so much keep keep creating and then apart from that we have uh, shobha prem kumar the latest one remember we did the camel wood cut out uh, key holder she has done it and uh, shobha i would request you to do little more add a uh, few more patterns over here and leave 
spaces for fixing the hooks okay you mark the places where the hooks have to be placed fixed and then uh, uh, leaving those places the rest of the area could be co covered with some patterns this has come out very well such an easy project i hope you enjoyed while creating it congratulations and thank you so much and this is done out of um uh, you have not mentioned it looks like a clay base because the corners are very smooth and evenly cut uh, what is the base uh, shobha uh, paper i mean the paper board or the clay um rani please uh, share your uh, whatsapp number directly message me uh, or if here also you can share your whatsapp number i will add you in my group so that uh, any further notifications you will get immediately okay so now we will start with the uh, session draw the sorry draw the outline alone first touch the fabric and drag the comb do not lift the cone just touch it and drag it ah i thought that must be the clay because i find the uh, the edges very smooth and evenly done that's really good this is a um, casement cloth it is available in the market draw all the straight lines first sure please i appreciate your passion do uh, send it to me at the earliest okay that's really good to know whenever we do the borders there will be always the boundary line so what you do is you finish off all the boundary lines first and then uh, after giving a little bit of drying time start with the detailing Here with the liner, the work is made very easier and quicker. Also, you can complete the project, and the color also stays that as it is, and you get a perfect line. Imagine how long you will take to create such uh, these lines with the paint and the brush. Then the um, we will do the uh, detailing first even on sarees also you can do with a liner okay done uh you can use poplin definitely no issues poplin cloth can be used casement can be used and uh, silk fabric also can be used or a ready made cushion also on top of it you can paint any kind of fabric for that matter okay even tussar but tussar uh, the thing is what happens is tussar you get it in a, when we talk about madhubani the base is somewhat lighter in shade, like paisley shades no? so you can use tussar fabric also now we will do the detailing I have taken uh, some of the most commonly used patterns of Madhubani borders. When I am doing it, 
simultaneously at places i'm just filling the gaps the patches with the liner itself This is our 340th episode in my channel. Thank you all so much for your support. Do share, like and share it with your friends also. Another interesting item for the summer. Hi Amini, good evening, welcome. Now this is the floral pattern. Inside the squares also or the rectangle, I mean the boxes, uh, try to draw the outline first. Just fill it up, small small patches with the liner itself. And here also. For the outermost pattern, the center could be filled up or you can draw lines. Just one liner is enough for a cushion. Fresh one. Touch the fabric and start dragging the uh, liner either for the outline or for the filling. Okay, now coming to the uh, detailing we have done almost uh, drawn the Yeah, this is casement cloth. I don't know whether it's available in, uh, through online. I got it from a local uh, textile shop. From a textile shop. Okay. Here is the fish. Okay. Then coming to the uh, detailing. Uh, to the top I want straight lines, you start from one point and then you finish it to the other, completing the gap. So in between the two designs, the center gap is, you all know, Nadubani is nothing but line drawing, okay. And continue the same, this is done. 
now you have gaps at the bottom so now we will is uh, we have done horizontal lines now we will do the vertical ones okay so like this for all the four sides the border goes in between you have a line patch two lines parallel lines so just draw divide them into equal uh, divisions it should be a fresh tube cone liner should be a fresh one okay use a new liner below the lotus let us have diagonal lines so all four sides with rows of patterns madhubani hi leela with madhubani patterns try to finish off the this thing here for the this one this one it is once again vertical lines just a small portion i am doing thank you leela how are you long time no see touch the fabric and drag the tube it is not a cylindrical cord like line it is just a line flat one on the fabric this is dry you see and you could not feel the um, impression at all with the comb so flat one to see at the bottom it is perfect no smudging no blotting nothing such an easy uh, work to do with a liner and here so the fish you need to continue in the other gaps also just complete it you can draw the fish so this is why uh, upside down one this way and one that way i am doing okay then here for the floral pattern you can make a lines different lengths starting from the biggest and ending with the smallest start exactly in the center the bigger the longest one then by the side of it we will reduce the length and make short lines if you do twice then you get a broad line i'll show you in the next uh, work see the, suppose if you feel this is thin then go for a second filling automatically you will get a broader and a brighter one okay you can do a on a sari just the border sewn with a liner it look very pretty now the entire border corner first row will be like the same pattern and the second row like this third row like this okay now i'll show you the finished um, cushion and then we will move on to the next step um uh, this is the uh, finished cushion i have not stuffed it okay now i have i have left a small portion here i have concentrated the pack one second 
I have concentrated the pattern uh, towards the left, the three row, three or four rows of uh, motifs, and then uh, a gap at the top, and then two rows, and of course the common design for the entire um, last one. Okay. Then you have a small portion. Leave a small portion. Let it be a squarish one, where we will fix the fish. Okay. So now this is done. Here you can too. You can just uh, give a filling of blue color because it's uh, the fish is going to be uh, placed over there. It could be a filling or it could be just a line, dashes like this with a blue color. Thank you, Rani. Okay. Thank you, Leela. So this way you can do. Now our cushion is ready. Then we will move on to the next item, which is the fish. For the fish, we need the um, canvas sheet. Draw the outline of the fish on the canvas sheet. Just take a small bit. You can, uh, depending upon the size of the blue portion, what we have left in the cushion, uh, how much ever uh, size fits in over there, you can choose like that. Okay. Here I have taken a lengthier one, and the size is about six inches in length. Okay. And the height is just four inches, six by four. I have taken a piece of uh, canvas sheet. And I have traced the design. If you want, you can freehandedly also you can draw. Now we will start the coloring. For the coloring, uh, we need uh, some bright colors. So now our uh, black outliner work is done. After the cushion work, we don't need the liner at all. Now we need the colors for the thing fish. Uh, we need uh, this thing green. We need gold. I'll take gold and uh, we need blue also. Uh, pearl blue then I'm going to make it very very colorful then this is uh, this is aqua blue from pastels then buttercup yellow once again from pastels then I want a um, little bit of vermilion or orange whatever you have you can to use then golden yellow these two are my favorite colors thank, thank you samita uh, golden yellow and uh, this thing vermilion then little bit of uh, a coral red i'm going to use you can use crimson also no issues Take little bit of coral uh, red, keep it on the palette. First you get ready with all the colors, then we will start. Because the coloring will be easy and uh, once the colors are ready on the palette, you can finish it fast. Uh, thank you Sh Sharada ma'am, thank you so much. Then when we talk about Madhubani, uh, pink also, it's like a uh, mandatory, I should say. Okay. Pink, I'll keep it here in the bottle itself. Then white also we need. So these are the very very colorful. These are the colors we need for the fish painting. That's all. Okay, black of course. For the final outline okay now take a uh, golden yellow here I've taken golden yellow you can use chrome yellow and orange or golden yellow with vermilion Given just one coat, let it sit.
so these three portions will be done with chrome yellow sorry i am using golden yellow only the first coat i have given uh, let me start with the second coat this is the second coat i am giving okay now without washing the brush you can load the brush with orange or with a different brush also you can apply orange okay just take orange or vermilion in this case apply the color around the border wash the brush and then blend both just for a small portion on the head shift right bit Done. Now here for the center portion, take orange, uh, sorry, vermilion, apply just above the center uh, tummy portion. This fish painting and uh, uh, this thing, uh, composing it on the uh, placement of the fish on the uh, this thing is very very interesting. Hi Manjula, good evening, good evening, welcome. I'll use the brown brush. those who are new to the channel please do like share and subscribe others uh, share your feedback hi basha welcome good evening This is our 340th uh, episode in my channel. coming to the bottom also one more coat of uh, yellow is required because we have given only one coat so give a second coat better to give two coats especially uh, golden yellow or chrome yellow or lemon yellow please do give two coats for a bright coloring again vermilion Stay tuned till the end. Don't miss it. Just blend a little bit, very little. You need to do the blending.
okay now we have done these three portions now towards the sides let us start the coloring one side one side i'll do and it is just the same on the other side also you need to follow it should be symmetrical so follow the color combination what you do on the right side should be the same on the left side now i'm using the with the pink then buttercup yellow thank you shobha thank you for your compliments thank you and we have uh, we will fill the entire thing with the buttercup yellow such a beautiful product from fevical the pastel colors just see while applying the color it just slides through the surface and the finishing is so good okay then let us start with the oh, very so green one second wait to me one second let me take mint green and i will show you It's okay. Uh, let me use. Uh, it's not here. Let me use greenery, and I'll show you. Take a. Uh, this is a uh, greenery. the table only that the mint green never mind now take light green and then give a wash over here just blend the colors about that the same pink i will add this also needs two coats okay then take aqua blue again from pastels Hi Sudha, good evening. Okay, once the lighter color, there is a pastel uh, aqua blue is given. Then take pearl blue. Here I am using acrylic. I am using pearl metallic, pearl, and then uh, pastels. Apply on top. blend the colors
Hi Vadiva ma'am, good evening. Done. Then the following portion we can have coral red. After blue you can have coral red. Same coral red this portion you can give a small fill. Okay. Then coming to the center portion make a small filling of coral red at the bottom of each curve so the detailing also should be done simultaneously once the colors <coughs> dry Then here on the uh, yellow apply green and that is over and here uh, just take buttercup yellow that is uh, below the red buttercup yellow. You can mix the acrylic colors with the pastel shades. Then take green color, the darker green, and then blend it. See how the color gets mixed. Okay. Then we will have magenta pink. Needs a second coat. Maybe after some time I will give. Not immediately. If you do it immediately, it will be patchy patchy. So just let the first coat dry and then start with the second one. Then you have a small gap. Take pearl blue. Fill it up. Now once the coloring is over, we will start with the black outline. Okay, now I'll keep all this aside and let me start with the black. Take black color. Thank you. Thank you, Rani. Thank you so much. Just a drop or two is more than enough. Okay. Mix it with little water, 1 is to 1 ratio, keep it ready. Okay. Now we will start. Just portion by portion, you can outline it. Do it very slowly. Do the detailing also, not only the outline, but the inner detailing also should be done. Okay. Coming to the center portion. 
use a thinner brush don't use a thicker one use triple zero it has a split end so I am getting double line these lines in the inner portion should be as thin as possible so use triple zero brush Don't make it too dark. Dark. Okay. Then the outline. Are you okay with this? The outer line should be very, very, very thick and bold. This is not enough. What I am doing right now is not enough. I will tell you the final step also. Make some patches here. This thin outline is not enough, I repeat. Now, finally, towards the tail. The tail fin also should be equally decorative with more detailing. Make partitions, parallel lines first. Okay. Now the detailing over here will be to start from the center for the tail fin. You can use the same uh, number 3 brush or use triple zero. One upward and one downward. Here it will be this way, then down up like this. Understood? Then few other uh, detailing with white color. So take white, load the brush with white color, make the tiny a line just above the red all this is your own imagination okay. take 
take a bold dot and key. This is not enough. This is not that good. Make lines. Here you can make some circles. And, and then, thank you, thank you, Samita. Take a little bit of light and draw in between, uh, I mean, uh, place doors on the parallel lines. dots okay. then take a dark green direct green thank you Sharda ma'am And here also the outline should be done with black. Then the outline. Now one side we have completed. I will tell you what is to be done next. Now take some more black. Yeah Rani, it is colorful. That is why I want to use more uh, many colors over here. Now make the outline little more broader. Say for example 0.5 mm. Throughout the fish, the outline should be this much. Take a thick paint and then apply it. Don't make it diluted, okay? Let it be the thick paint, direct paint. Here I am not doing because I have not completed. So let me do it later. Keep the brush flat and then drag it. We have almost completed the uh, fish pattern. Mm, a little bit of uh, detail work here on the yellow. Just make diagonal lines, and here straight lines you can make. 
This is what we do Madhubani, right? The same way you can do. Now, after finishing the fish, you leave it to dry and then you cut along the border. So, one you need two pieces, one will be painted, the other one will be just plain with the on the canvas uh, sheet. You draw the outline, cut it, keep two pieces one is painted, the other one is plain. Remember that, okay. So, then the next step what you must do is. Here is a finished fish, front it is painted and at the back it is the plain canvas I have stuck. I did not stuck it fully, it is a little bit opening at the bottom. Now here just apply the glue only at the edges this way, use fabric glue. Apply only the glue only at the edges, then give a, a press, keep a weight of the heavy object on top of it, let it set completely, and then you take the thing and start stuffing the fish. Okay, now you need the recron fiber. In the meantime, what you do is with, uh, by the time this gets dried up, you have lot of uh, I mean the leftovers uh, um, canvas places in it all right so you make small small fishes in that take a temp template draw on the canvas paint the uh, fish of the color of course of your choice small fishes uh, minimum uh, three or four numbers you can make okay now we will cut this also and keep it ready Just cut them, keep them ready because we have to stuff these things also. Few numbers, uh, two or three, or maximum three or four, that's it. Make tiny fishes. Take a template like this, then you draw, you will get uniform sized ones. Because I don't want to draw directly on the cloth, so I want to make it something different. Doing it on the canvas and then positioning them on the fabric, that is on the cushion. Okay. Okay, I'll stop with this. The other one I can do later and then. Yes, now we have four numbers. One is of course I leave it there. Now we will start stuffing the fish. Take the recron fiber or even the surgical cotton also you can use. But what happens is when you wash it, uh, people will ask how to maintain this is. You can maintain it very properly but just by giving it a dip and dry. That's it. Okay. 
uh, no scrubbing no don't put it in the washing machine just dip it and then dry it open the tail end place little over here and then push it with the back side of the brush or with the wooden stick like this don't use sharp tool just very gently you push it inside push it straight to the mouth please let me know whether um, the um, working space is shifted let me know whether you are able to see it so we have stuck here take some more always have the opening at the tail end very gently you push it yes now push it to one side this will of course uh, will open you can give a uh, this thing you can apply again glue on top and then paste it use only fabric glue don't use pericol give a press so a beautiful embellishment for the madhubani bordered uh, painted hand painted cushion push it to the side things okay done you all know it takes little time the fabric to so once it is stuck means that's it Spread it nicely. Add little more. Don't use surgical cotton because when well, uh, when you wash it now, then it becomes a little heavier and takes more time to dry also. This is uh, Recon fiber. I think this will be the best. I should have done this earlier. The last stuffing. Don't stuff uh, too much.
just a puffy fish. Then apply glue. Just apply glue. If it takes time. Let it set. We'll definitely share this to you all in the next episode. Okay. Finished. If you want, you can do the stitching also. Um, back button hole stitch. Just put a jump clip over here. For the time being, I use. Uh, I'll show you. I use all fix, and I'll show you. This is all fix. For the time being, I'm using it. Fast setting also. Yeah, set no, here. Okay, now we have done the top portion. It's all over. Then just close the sides first and then add little more cotton. Apply glue on one side. Don't apply on the top, just on the bottom piece you apply the glue. Then take little bit of cotton. Place it and then the sides you can secure it. This is for the tape. Okay. Now you can close the tail end also. Keep a heavy object on top of this for some time and then you fix it on the cushion. Just press nicely. There is gum in my hand in there, so it's trying to Let's push it inside. Okay, now it is almost stuck everywhere. Little bit is left, it's okay. And now we have the small fish. And the big fish also. Now you take the cushion.
ओके नाउ टेक द क्वेश्चन एंड प्लेस इट लाइक दिस साइड वेज पोजिशन इट फर्स्ट कीप द स्मॉल वन जस्ट फ्यू नंबर्स नॉट मेनी जस्ट टू और थ्री विल डू ओके like this you can fix now here for the big fish once the sides are all set just give little time for it to set and then apply glue along the border place it here give a press and then keep an heavy object on top understand so that it doesn't gets lifted up so that is that will be done here and then the small ones apply glue in the center take very little quantity of this much is enough place it on top like this we have applied glue once it is set apply glue at the corners and place this also here on the cushion now i'm not going to do this i will be just placing them as it is you can all have a look at it just few numbers i will uh, show you the positioning we can have one here and the neat one like this and yeah so with this we come to the end of the session and once all this is set you can stuff the cushion the same with the same recon fiber and make make it a designer one okay any doubt Thank you, Sharda ma'am. Thank you, Sujita. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hope you all like the session. I love uh, creating this. and i wish you all could do it yeah samita we will plan very soon thank you mani makale thank you so much uh, we'll meet you again very soon with a different and of course for the eyes i have used the googly eyes i have not painted it you can also stick the googly eyes using the fabric glue okay remember uh, thank you rani remember to use fabric glue and not um, this thing uh, fabricon okay yes take care and bye bye see you all soon with a different item uh, i will just come to the other side and focus the camera on the work done please do create the uh, that is a madhubani border uh, we have concentrated for the cushion only with the black outliner and the fish is made very colorful on the canvas sheet using the acrylic colors and then uh, we made uh, we had two pieces of the fish one painter the other one as it is then join them together leaving a gap at the tail end then stuff it with the cot okay recon cot Thank you thank you Leela thank you so much take care and bye bye see you soon I will complete this and share it to you in the next class we'll focus the camera down on the finished article Okay
is that clear and this is what we did in the class today just see the uh, googly eyes it is not painted and see the coloring light weighted very soft or i'll give you one more suggestion also you stuff the cushion first and then you position the uh, stuffed fish and start stitching it okay thank you see you very soon take care and bye bye i'm winding up